I'm Suliana Manley, and I'm a professor here in iPhys. And my domain is biophysics. The last course that I ever took in biology was when I was in high school, so gymnase, gymnasium. And that was also the first course I ever took in biology. <laughs> So I was always drawn to physics because of the universal principles that it offers to understand how the world works. And I was a little bit turned off by biology because it seemed like a lot of the focus was on naming things and memorization rather than this fundamental understanding that physics seems to offer. Nevertheless, as I progressed through and started to do research, I came to understand that many of the fundamental frontier questions uh, that face us today are really embodied in complex systems and biophysics. And so this is what drew me to biophysics in the end, were these ultimate challenging questions, such as what is the difference between a living system and a dead one? In the end, it's a, it's a thermodynamic question on some level. So in my team, we're looking at biophysical questions that are related to the fundamental unit of life, which is the cell. And so we want to understand how a single cell is organized and how this order emerges in a thermodynamic bath where you have energy going in and yet organization is coming out of that. And so we study the organization of subcompartments of the cell, which are called organelles. Just as your body has organs that perform specific functions, so does a cell have organelles that perform specific functions. And in particular, we become very interested in mitochondria, which you may be familiar with since they are the main energy generators of the cell. They're actually the reasons that we breathe, the respiratory chain. But we're interested in mitochondria from a biophysical perspective. And what that means is that mitochondria have to follow the same laws of physics as any kind of matter. So they have certain mechanical properties and those mechanical properties dictate the shapes that they can take on, the dynamics that they may have. Uh, moreover, mitochondria are fascinating because they contain their own genes. And so just as we need our genomes to maintain, uh, it, uh, to propagate ourselves. Mitochondria must follow some of the same universal principles. And so we're fascinated in how the, these, these rules apply at different scales of living systems. So this is why I love biophysics, and I hope that uh, I've intrigued you and that you'll consider biophysics as a topic for you in the future.